Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 VF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death. It is time to follow Carlos de Silva, member of the Thieves Guild, into his next adventure. And we're actually progressing Thieves Guild content today. Uh, the beauty of it is we will uh, be using uh, all of our skills after we are, have done Honeymoon Isle. I want to get us a dagger upgrade, so that will happen as well. Lots to do in one uh, session, so join me and we're going right over there. Good, for starters, we are making ourselves invisible. And finally, we don't need to crouch uh, and be very slow the entire time. Quite the opposite. <laughs> they don't see us. That is so funny. I wonder. This guy looks like a troublemaker to me. Huh? Still staying in the shadows. Re stealthing. Good, that's one down. We potentially need, I need to brew a couple more invisibility potions. This is just to regain magicka faster because I want to, of course, recast invisibility. And here we go. Still hidden. Nice. That's a nice success in gameplay. I like it. I like it a lot. There's the gate key. And we still have a couple of guards. Oh yeah, our sneak abilities have improved drastically. Now, I need, still need to keep my muffled boots up because those higher level mercenaries will elsewise see us. Level 27, I think I'll kill this guy. And this is where it becomes a non-stealth run all of a sudden. A little bit of action. Oh, wow. A little bit more of action. Oh, you can traverse that. Interesting. Ok, 
Okay, even the fear works. Oh my gosh, the character is great. Struggled through the early game, but holy shit, now oh, it's starting to work out. Let's regain some of the stamina. Nice. I like the gameplay. I am starting to like this build more and more. Half of this has been done silently, the other half not so silently. But yeah, I mean, we even killed level 27 guards here. And they were very much affected by our illusion magic. Starting with that. Good. Well, could have thought about them maybe coming here a little bit beforehand sun down, uh, down. Have a hard time seeing it against that backdrop. Where's that other guy? Did he just disappear? No. Right there. Okay, cool. So as I was saying, we are actually doing quite well for ourselves. Oh, that already has been night eye. Well, it feel like it. I almost most think we have killed everyone. But I might be wrong. Let's not touch anything yet. Oh, two guys there, okay. Time 
Time to end this oh, what? They see me. Oh my gosh. Well, hadn't given me the you are detected uh, notion. Elsewise, I would have not moved directly towards them, but instead away from them. As any sane assassin would have done, who walks into a knife? Okay, so far so good. Not the best of all uh, combats, but okay. to go into the base uh, basement first detected us. They are quite high level. So it seems to be relatively speaking easy for them to detect us. Need to wait for these openings. You got. He can block fast and strike fast, so he's actually not surprising uh, since he's level 27. a hit. Not a lot of space to work with here. And the poison eventually gets both of them. And there we go. Cellar key. That's what I'm looking for.
Good. So. That's the safe. I think the key was on the top floor. Let them walk down. Same death alley, uh, but their partner has walked down. Oh, yeah, here we go. Gathering some magicka. We're there? not spotted out yet. He was close to spotting us out, though. them are getting killed whilst going down the stairs you would think if you're like the fifth person running down the same pair of stairs every single one of your friends just disappeared some of them actually just lying down there head first in the dirt you would be intelligent enough to say you know what maybe that's just not for me Shortly wait. All right, second floor. In this, hey, there are definitely people here. Someone there? More than one person. Okay, only one more roughneck to go. I think we're done elsewhere, right? Lucky. Hit. You can't beat me. Okay. No, there is still one more person. Is the guy still alive? Hmm. 
Never leave any witnesses. Good. An, agil an agility based build typically has the challenge. not be able to work well within close quarters. I feel though that with our range of abilities we actually do surprisingly well. Worthless mercenaries. Is someone there? Dwarven bow, not bad, but way too, way too heavy. Got the safe key, and this guy has like hundreds of arrows. Holy! And he actually has quite a few good arrows. Elven arrows, ebony arrows. So many so that we can leave our poor arrows behind and just use his for now. Good, time to get everything from the master. Uh, safe. And I'm somehow lost. There we go. I would believe there is finally no one left in here. Like we have killed uh, 20, 25 enemies. That was a quite rich mission. And it showed how well our build is working against humanoids. bad. I like it. Alright, rats do have problems detecting us. Is there anything else down here? No. Cool. Back to the Thieves Guild. You've made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. Sorry, here's what was in the safe. At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Let me see that. Arangar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? 
He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Uh, good. It's about the time that I met her. Uyghur. It's not a social visit. It's business. What does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Just keep your ears open mm -hmm. and your mouth shut. And you'll do fine. Okay, cool. Well. Time to speak to Maven Blackbriar, I suppose. So, you're so the one Maven. Golden Glow Estate. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. My apologies, Lady Maven. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. Um, sorry, you're disappointed? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, Brynjolf sends me someone with no backbone, no determination. Uh, do you have any faith in the guild? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. All right. Well, One more and we'll do exactly that. You Pleasure as always, my lady. Here we go. So, Malus, Maven said you were expecting me. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. You have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. Mm -hmm. How do I fit in? to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. This is an old Clever. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Cool, we'll do exactly that. So, Sabjorn. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Is something wrong? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Mm-hmm. I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. That's the only way I operate. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Just pay when the job is done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. How do I permanently clean the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. You've Don't got a deal. Until every one of those things are dead. Fantastic. So we're going no, to do exactly that, mess. and I'll be back in a sec. Good. We're here in the basement in order to clear out all of the vermin. And there's a bit of a twist to it. If you've never done the quest, I won't spill the beans yet. Ah. 
Lots of reds for starters. And let's not get overhyped on those skiver tails. Good. Our power attack actually works reasonably well now. Okay, back to regaining some of our stamina. And then it's time for the Frost Spider. I would still drink a healing potion. I know from experience that, the, uh, that they can just launch at you. And it is painful. Still hit like a truck. Okay, just getting back in shape. No reason to throw our life away. And whilst we're regenerating, how about we're increasing our mana regeneration as well? Because we can indeed fear them. Good. Let's try this again. There we go. That worked reasonably well. That's the base for our next set of poisons, which I'm already looking forward to. Let's get that one done. I think we could invis ourselves. Because we're very soon going to find out uh, who's behind all of uh, this uh, vermin infestation. Trying to avoid the traps. Yep. Exactly those traps. Oh, we still got an entire cave ahead of us. Okay, never mind. No, I was right. He's here. Now we've triggered him. I do have an idea how we're dealing with that. Good old staff of paralysis. Oh, 
Oh, what? I thought it would last longer than that. Ice spikes, uh, that can be sold. Rest is pretty much irrelevant. Yeah, and he was unhappy. Ten years of ridicule. Wanted to pay, uh, pay back to his master. Sneaking increased, that's good. We got some more septums. Poison done, that's good. And we found our way into the brewery, where, of course, we're going to use the poison as well. Good, let's enjoy this little cutscene here. Something we discussed. The job is finished. About time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. What about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, I guess I'll just take a seat. Well, said Yarn. Now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your meat? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, this is me. Not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What? What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. See, see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. Please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Well, you, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Oh, absolutely it is. <coughs> Farewell, son. heard even a scratch at the door. Have you done it? All right, he's escorted out. Fantastic. <clears throat> Let me loot it up and uh, hand in the quest. Good. Back <clears throat> at the thief skill. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yet very fortunate for Marvin. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Same symbol from Glo Golden Glow was involved. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. 
All right, we're not going to do that immediately. No time for idle chatter. Mercer is awaiting your presence. Yeah, I'll get to it in a second. Next step for us is actually getting a new dagger. So let me work on that. So here we are near Hackraven Orphan Rock uh, to get Nestlebane. Nestlebane is originally a part of the White Run quest line to save the tree in White Run, and it's the dagger that allows you to go to the original tree and uh, fight off its roots. Unfortunately, Nestlebane uh, is owned by a hag and a couple of witches or hags that work together with it. Okay, time for us to run, 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 run. Our initial assault was sort of successful, not really. I was hoping we could uh, kill a witch without being detected. Now they technically know where we are, but I'm, I don't know if they immediately detect us. Good, we're back to hidden again. Besides, let's poison our dagger. Good, one of the witches is down, two more to go and the hag. already see the next witch. Unfortunately the last one we couldn't really assassinate from behind. Just like that. Back into stealth mode. One more, and then the Hack Raven. Who's the real problem? Regaining our mag uh, Magicka. They are faintly aware, at least the Hack Raven is, but they don't like fully know that we're here yet. Heck Raven is right over there. What was that? Hello? Who's there? Oh boy, we're already seeing fireballs fly. There seems to be a fourth um, witch. And there's the hag. Yeah, not going to fight her. Certainly not from a distance. Time to invis up 
And let's try this again. Yeah, she has lost our trail. That's good. We are fully hidden again. She decides not to cast, that's fine for me as well. There we go, Nettlebane. Cool. Easier than I would have expected. And we only need to kill five witches. Glass dagger. Oh, look at you. Well, that is a pretty rare find as well. Good. What did the other witch have? in her backpack hmm. over there and then we're double checking our new daggers only an iron dagger okay good so in terms of daggers We currently have the well-made uh, Dwarven Dagger, mind you, very heavy and slow for a dagger. The Glass Dagger is a substantial upgrade in itself, great offhand, super fast. And then Edelbane, Magical Poison, 10 damage to health and stamina for 5 seconds, great weapon. Might even be worthwhile skilling into enchanting with one perk just to recharge Nettlebane from time to time but yeah that is definitely our new weapon and we'll put the other daggers to rest all right let me do inventory management and then we'll test our new dagger what better way to test a weapon upgrade and end an episode with uh, as with uh, slaughtering a few bandits? Let's double check how good we are. We got another bounty. And I intend to get the bounty. So this year in case you are wondering, is Balgach uh, mine? Home of a couple of nasty orcs. And somehow we're losing hit points. Why is that, by the way?
Partially it is because we're out of uh, healing potions, but that can't be all. There must be a little bit more to the story. Good, we haven't been spotted out yet. The guy just has a huge suspicion. And we do have 15, <laughs> 15 times damage from behind. Oh. Just regaining enough magicka to, uh, to stealth again. That's the one thing that we need to improve. Magicka regeneration and just the ability to resell faster. The rest is already good. Normally I come in and the whole camp already attacks us. There is kind of this huge fight to get control over here, but not this time. Two more of them. And the whole going in quietly shtick really works out well so far. That guy has heard our casting but doesn't know we're here. Done. Before we go and look at the loot, there always has been like one orb down here, but apparently not this time. There isn't even anyone working at this point. Strange. By the way, I bought myself a new spell, Hibernating Touch. We're going to test that one out as well. Nice loot uh, if we were fighting with a two-handed weapon. Good, carefully moving in. The boss is still here and I think this is him. Go to the college, Da said. Use your smarts, he said. Like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A couple of feeling potions. That was actually surprisingly straightforward. I 
Elven Gauntlets of Penetration. Armor Penetration of Weapons 16%. That is really good. Another Stamina Regeneration. A ring. I think our arms are uh, better. 14% armor penetration and these guys here are literally better in all departments. More armor, less weight. All right, short gloves, you have to go. Cool. I think that's a good point to also end the episode. Decent loot. Couldn't show off the hibernating touch, but that is okay. Next up, I think we're going to now transition into Draugr content. And uh, I also need to think about which shout I want to use, uh, since we are again playing with the rule that this is not the Dragonborn, but they can train one shout and one shout only. And that's pretty much it. So I'll I'll look up uh, what a fitting shout would uh, be. And in the meantime, let's just see what else we would want to get. 50 one-handed would be fine. I think we wanted illusion first. Yeah, that makes sense. Again, short, not quite there. Just a few more points. And in terms of level up, could go for Adept Illusion, not sure if we can already cast them. Stealth is maximized for now. We could definitely go with uh, Finesse or just increase of weapon damage. Attack speed would be huge. I think that's helpful and we gotta get into weapon mastery as well plus then dagger focus more armor penetration etc etc and in dexterity precise strikes and knife dance in particular so there is still a little bit more to go but we also have a few more levels that's all good Cool. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to be a master illusionist, uh, I teach you a simple and easy trick. Apprentice level. No, actually novice level. If you hover long enough over the like button and then uh, do a little bit of a left mouse button thing, then uh, it appears that the like button then gets a thumbs up. Try it. You might become a master illusionist once uh, in the future. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.